What's up, people? How many times do I have to say it? Broly is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character of all time. Without a doubt, no questions asked. So when this Broly Dragon Ball Super movie trailer was out, you know I had to do a breakdown on it. I've done so many Dragon Ball movies specifically because of Broly, or Dragon Ball videos specifically because of Broly. People probably think I'm a Dragon Ball YouTuber now. I am not. I'm an anime. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. I like anime and I like video games. That doesn't matter though. Let's look at this Broly trailer. Let's see what this is all about. I mean, I've already seen it like 10 times in English and Japanese, but I want you guys to see original story, screenplay, character design by Akira Toriyama. Let's keep going. Tell me, Goku, why do you seek even more strength than you have already? The tournament of power opened my eyes. No way I can stay at the same level I'm at now. So we know it's by Akira Toriyama. We know it's after the tournament of power we have a timeline for it. Here's my question for you. If this is canon, which I think it is going to be canon, if this is canon, do you guys think that they'll redo this in Super? I personally hope not, especially judging by how they reanimated the last two movies, or the first two movies, I should say. I think that they should just keep Broly in Dragon Ball Super, because, I mean, this is the most hype that Dragon Ball has had ever. Broly is probably going to be one of the biggest characters, especially if they do it right, he's probably going to be one of the biggest characters they could possibly have. So I think they should keep him in the series for as long as it's not, you know, just dragged out. However, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just killed off in this movie, to be honest. And as long as it's a super, super good movie, I wouldn't be too upset. But this is, this movie has given Dragon Ball the most hype that it's had since Battle of the Gods. And Battle of the Gods hype in my opinion was mainly because it was our first fresh new piece of Dragon Ball Z content in years. We're just coming off of Dragon Ball Super. So it's not like we're in a Dragon Ball drought anymore. And this is still generating this much hype. I'm fired up. I'm fired up too, Goku. I know exactly what you mean. So we have all the Freezer Force people and then this is weird. So we have Frieza's spaceship, right? We don't know where Frieza is. It's the Saiyan whom nobody knows. So that means that this has nothing to do with the old Broly movie. Especially not the third one. That movie was trash. My old Broly sucked. That must be the guy. I don't... So they heard about him. From whom? I don't know. Maybe Freeze got his behind whoop, he went to Earth, and he's like, yo man, this dude is strong, I need you guys to take care of him. What is he eating also, man? This guy looks just... Like, so this is base form, bro. So notice how his skin, he has the same complexion as Vegeta and Goku. His hair is flat, though. But he still looks mean. It's not like the old movie, where he was just like this weird, timid, Saiyan person. He's just like a shell of who he really is. You know, this guy means business from the jump. You know who he is, but his energy is absurd. And they can sense, look at the shot. Man, look at his eyes. But they can sense how strong he is from the very beginning. He's not hiding his power whatsoever. He probably doesn't even know how to hide his power. For some reason, we have Dragon Balls. I don't know what the Dragon Balls have to do with this story. Yeah, Paragus. I don't know who Paragus is to Broly anymore. I don't know if that's still his father, but hey, let's go back to Paragus. We see Paragus still has that cut on his left eye, it would be. So, if you remember on the old movie, Broly is the one who gave him that cut. I don't know what the reason for that cut is now, but we can also see he's super, super old. And we know that it takes Saiyans a little bit before they age this much. We can see him in the Freezer Force slash Sand Armor. But the, uh, it looks like Vegeta's old Sand Armor style, except it's purple. And the tights are purple. The suppression, or, yeah, the suppression shirt thing is purple. And then this is green. 
and he tells him to do it, Broly, and Broly starts doing it. Look at this guy. You see, though, he has that collar. So, I guess this is suppressing his power. He still has that fair skin, just like Vegeta. You'll see why I'm calling this out now, why I'm putting this out now. And I don't know what this is for. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe they just wanted to give him a robe because that's what he had before. But, yeah, we'll see. He freaks out. And then he goes right after Vegeta. Now, earlier in the movies, he would have went after Goku because, you know, he had the problem with Goku. Goku got him sliced up when he was a child. Now, though, I guess that whole thing has been mixed because, I mean, to be honest, it was kind of lame. Him having it, only an issue with Goku and just beating everybody else up, you know, it was kind of lame. But now, I wonder, what is Broly's backstory now? What is the reason why they're on Earth now in the first place? I guess we'll have to just wait for the movie to find out. And I love this shot. You have Vegeta taking everything seriously and then he starts to smirk. Before, look at this. Look at this shot. Looks like he's just, he got Vegeta to turn into a Super Saiyan. It looks like he's just beating Vegeta around. He still has the suppressor collar, suppression collar on, but um, I'm liking the fact that Vegeta's not backing down though, because in the first movie, Vegeta didn't want anything to do with Broly. They kind of, you know, kind of made Vegeta look like a little, a little chump. Now, he's probably still going to get beat. He most likely is still going to get beat. I think everybody's going to get beat. But, you know, he, he's not, he's not afraid of Broly, it seems like. And he's learning as he fights, which is it's common with Saiyans, sort of. Like all Saiyans get better as they fight more. But I guess it's even more extreme with Broly. And I guess Broly didn't have much fighting experience before he fought Vegeta and Goku. Which I guess means he's gonna probably get handled by Vegeta a little bit. Vegeta's probably gonna beat Broly around at first. But then as Broly gets used to fighting him, he's probably gonna get the upper hand and start beating Vegeta. And then we have Frieza. So it's 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 weird, right? Why would Frieza one? Why would Frieza team with another Sam? Why would he be complimenting another Sam? But where does Frieza go in a part that we are just seeing earlier, right? Frieza hates Saiyans. He already hated Saiyans before Goku and Vegeta. But as you can see, even in the Torment of Power, his hatred for Saiyans seemed even more intense. Like he targeted every Saiyan. The only reason he worked with Goku and Vegeta is because he had to. He didn't want to. But I guess, you know, working with Goku weirdly turned him over a new leaf but not exactly in a way that we are thinking I don't think he's a good guy but I think he's more so like if I can work with this saying if I have a saying under my control then there's nothing that I can do and we also know with Frieza's arrogance thinking that he's stronger than anyone everyone no matter how strong their power level is so he probably thought that he would be able to, you know, keep Broly under tap. Even if Broly did freak out and go insane, he probably thought that he'd be able to kill him. But I guess, you know, that wasn't the case. Since I can't see whether or not he has the collar on there. But I'm assuming that he's fighting Broly with the collar on. And I'm assuming that he lost pretty bad. Now we have Goku versus Broly. than we thought yeah i can't wait so this is something this is where things get interesting though so notice that broly's hair is spikier he seems to be a little tan his eyes are green and he has no collar anymore i don't know maybe so before what i was thinking is this shouldn't be called base form broly because first of all he's fighting goku in blue form well he's in his base form that's first of all so that's just 
by itself that's insane also look at just how this looks like this looks like it's in dragon ball fighter but it's blue so that's something that geek comes in i agree with 100 percent. but let's talk more about this maybe this should be called true day form broly because this is him without like the suppression power on thing this looks like this is just him fighting at full strength but the fact that he can fight on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku that's insane so what would I say right now right now I feel like if he were fighting it's how strong he would be right now He's probably still weaker than Jiren here. As, I see, they, as you heard them say, he's learning how he fights. So you'd have to build up to the point where he's just an incredible, just animal beast. So he should probably still be weaker than Jiren here. But then again, we don't know how strong Goku's blue form is anymore. So, take that as you will. So this is interesting, right? I assume that this is Broly inside of a Saiyan spaceship being sent away by someone outside of a Saiyan spaceship who I assume this is Broly's father, which is why I don't think Paragus is Broly's father anymore. Or maybe this is Paragus sending Broly away and then he finds Broly again later. Don't know. But I don't think this is Paragus. I have an idea of who this is, especially because there are three movies <clears throat> that are being remastered and brought to U.S. theaters for the first time. I won't say what those three movies are because I want you guys to, you know, get on the same brain waves as me and the hints that I'm putting out. And I want you guys to guess who I think this person is. I don't think this is Perry as well. And I want to guess that this is Planet Vegeta being destroyed. Now, this was interesting because you have three sand babies and some weird, you know, I don't know what the heck is going on. So I have two guesses. I have this could be Saiyans being genetically modified when they're young, or this could just be a backstory that Vegeta, Broly, and Goku were all in the same place when they were younger. Don't know though. I have no clue. I have no idea which one it is. Those would be my two guesses. Genetically modified or these in these three chambers are Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. Or maybe in this empty chamber is Goku, Vegeta, Broly got taken out and there's another mystery saint. Don't know, have no idea. So this is also interesting. So I'm guessing that after Broly got sent out, this is why I don't think that's, that was Perius and who sent Broly away. If that was Broly in the same spaceship. Because I think this is Perius. And I think this is a Perius that found this Broly. But who is this? People are saying it was Young King Vegeta, but if this is Broly as a child in the spaceship, then this can't be Young King Vegeta. Because King Vegeta looked the same even when Vegeta was a kid. Not when Vegeta was a toddler, but even when Vegeta was a kid, you know, King Vegeta still had the mustache and everything. And also, this looks like the same space armor that Bulma made. It doesn't have the shoulder pads or anything, but this person has a tail. I don't know who this is. I assume this is Paragus, and I assume that they're finding a kid Broly. I don't think this is an adult Broly that they found. And then we have Broly rising from the crater that is here. And I guess this is Legendary Super Saiyan, but something makes me think that this is not Legendary Super Saiyan. I'll show you that later. He's
So he is definitely getting stronger. Now I'll show you why I don't think that that was legendary Super Saiyan. So let's look at the character designs, right? We have Goku. We have base form Goku. We have Super Saiyan Goku. We have Super Saiyan God Goku. We have Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And we got Winter Pose Goku. Goku looks so happy. What the heck? Not here though. But these, Goku looks so happy. Then we got Vegeta. We have Buu Saga Clothes Vegeta. Which I wonder why he's even in this. We have Base Form Vegeta and Saiyan Army and Vegeta. Let's call it Boma Army. We have Super Saiyan Vegeta. We have Super Saiyan God Vegeta debuting for the first time. And I hope they talk about why he didn't use it before and why he's bringing it out for this movie. I hope this gets touched on. So we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now, and we have Winter Clothes Vegeta. Now notice we don't have Super Saiyan Evolution Vegeta and we don't have Ultra Instinct Vegeta. But I do think both of these forms will be shown off and I do think both of these forms will lose. I think they'll lose because I think we'll have some fusion because of the three movies that are being remastered and brought to the USA. Now, this is where things get super interesting. Not even because of this, but because this picture, right? Well, these two pictures. Well, actually, these three pictures are the most interesting to me. We have Broly in what looks to be old Saiyan clothes. So, look at the difference, right? This is super comparable. And look how much bigger he is than, like, just in muscle mass, how much bigger he is than he is, which makes sense. But this, the clothes that he's wearing here are just like the old Saiyan clothes and just like the clothes that Vegeta wears. And he still has his little, you know, beard or whatever, kelp thing. But he's wearing old Saiyan stuff here. So I guess this is before he's found by Frieza. Then we have Broly, I guess, after he's found by Frieza. But notice he still has the collar on. Before and after he has his new clothing, he still has the collar on. So we have suppressed base form Broly 1. And old Saiyan stuff. We have suppressed base form Broly 2 and new Frieza Saiyan armor stuff. Then we have unsuppressed base form Broly. And now this is Super Saiyan Broly with no pupils. So here's my question Did we see this form in the trailer yet? Because We never really got a clearer look on what color Broly's hair was. Broly's muscle mass also didn't seem that big, and Broly still had the new sand on him. That's my question. Did we see this form yet? I personally do not think that the form that was at the end of that Dragon Ball Super trailer, I don't think that was Legendary Super Saiyan. And I think that's all the character designs we have. That's all I'm going to leave you with. What do you guys think of the video? What do you guys think of the trailer and the movie and everything? Because, yeah, I don't know. If I'm right, and because he was already fighting Super Saiyan Blue, he's already fighting with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and his unsuppressed base form. And if I'm right, and he turns into Super Saiyan, and that alone freaks out Goku, then if he turns, if 
Legendary Super Saiyan is the last form that we haven't seen yet in the trailer then. Man, I can't wait to see the movie. That's all I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna end this video at. Please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe to the channel. It's Team Up 7 signing off. Peace.